advanced placement exams begin in May. Many of you have chosen to take the exam digitally so that you have more time to prepare. This is Dr. Gogarty, Director of Advanced Learning, and in this video, I will give you a preview of AP Digital Testing that is new this year. Unless you are only taking a world language or a music theory exam, everyone should prepare for digital exams. There has been a lot of uncertainty this year, and it's a good idea to be prepared just in case you need to take a digital exam. Also, by preparing to take the digital exam, you get access to practice tests to help you get ready for your exams, no matter which format you're taking. Textbooks and notes are not permitted for digital exams administered in school. The College Board understands students taking digital exams at home may have access to these materials. To prevent students from gaining an unfair advantage, digital exams will not include questions that can be answered with internet searches, textbooks, study notes, study guides, or similar material. Your answers will be reviewed with plagiarism detection software and they will also be reviewed with post-exam analysis to identify collaboration or the use of unauthorized aids. I've taken a lot of time tests in my life, and with this sort of test, it is important to spend your exam time creating your answer, drawing upon your skills, knowledge, and experiences, both in and out of class, so that you can articulate clearly your ideas. If you waste your trying, time trying to find the answer instead of trying to create your answer, you will not do well. If you create your study guides and review guides in April, you'll already have everything you need in your head during the exam. There are four easy steps to taking a digital exam. The AP administrator at the school where your exam was ordered can see how you're doing on each step with their digital dashboard. Step one, Starting today, you can download the digital testing app from the College Board site. You must use a laptop or desktop computer. The app doesn't work with a smartphone or tablet. Your DMPS computer meets all the minimum system requirements the app needs to function correctly. Step 2. Practice with sample questions in the digital testing app between now and, when you're, and your exam. The practice exams will roll out for each exam between April 8th and April 12th. Step three, if you are taking a digital exam, you must complete exam setup three days before the exam. You must do this for each of the exams that you are taking digitally. You also must do this on the computer you intend to use during the exam. Step four, on the day of the digital exam, you'll need to launch the app and check into your exam 30 minutes before the exam starts. In Des Moines, exams start at 11 a.m. or 3 p.m., so you must check in by 10.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. The lease on some of our DMPS computers is up in June, and they must be returned to our vendor. If you are planning to participate in AP testing after school is out, Please talk to your building technology specialist to find out if you should keep your computer or swap it out for a different one for the test. Seniors, this goes for you too. If your test occurs after graduation, please let your building technology specialist know that you'll need to hang on to your DMPS computer for AP testing. The AP administrator at your school has a list of who is testing in each administration window so they'll be communicating with the building technology specialist to ensure you can maintain the computer access you need to take your digital exam. You can also use a personal computer if you prefer, but your computer must meet the system requirements to run the testing app. Download the app today and practice and work out all the bugs before exam day. After April 8th, AP students will be able to download the College Board new digital testing app to their desktop or laptop computers, either PC or Mac. Just log in to myap.collegeboard.org to find the app. You'll need your College Board username and password to use the app. If you click Remember Me, you won't need to log in each time you return. Three days before your test, you'll run through the exam setup in the app 
where you'll confirm some information about yourself and your device. You must complete exam setup for every digital AP exam you take, and it is critical that you complete this step before test day. 30 minutes before your exam start time, you'll launch the app and check into your exam. You'll review some privacy policies, type a security statement, and get ready to test. It's important that you check in on time. You won't be able to check in once your exam starts. Right before the exam begins, the app will lock your device. You'll need to close all other applications before testing begins and turn off all notifications. If you finish check-in before your exam start time, you'll see a timer counting down. When the timer expires, the exam will start automatically. At the top left of every testing screen, you can access general exam directions as well as section-specific directions. During the exam, a timer will count down the time remaining for each section. You can hide the timer, except during the last five minutes of a section. Once time expires on the last section of the exam, your answers will be submitted automatically. In the testing toolbar, you'll find several tools that may be helpful. Click on Annotate to highlight any part of a passage or question that you might want to return to, or leave yourself a note to organize your thoughts. You can delete your annotations if you want, but it isn't necessary. Annotations are not included in your submitted answers. In most STEM courses, you'll have access to a reference sheet with commonly used formulas. If your AP exam requires or allows calculators, you must bring your own. Schools may check out calculators for you to use. Talk to your AP teacher if you're interested. You can zoom in and out to get a closer look at any part of the question. You can find the zoom in out buttons under more. You can also make one side of the screen bigger than the other with the expand left and expand right controls. On every screen, you will have access to a help page where you can view frequently asked questions. Most AP exams are a combination of multiple choice and free response questions. Some multiple choice questions are centered on the screen, while others have stimulus content on the left and the question and answer box on the right. On multiple choice questions, you won't be able to move back and forth between questions or return to questions you've already answered. Remember, there is no penalty for guessing. Between sections, you'll have a break. A timer will let you know when the next section starts. Do not exit the app or close the laptop screen during the break. Just like at the beginning of the exam, when the time expires, the, the exam will resume automatically. On free response questions, you'll type directly into the app and all of your work will be saved automatically. Any special characters you need are available in the text editor. There are no files to upload and you won't submit any handwritten work. Once you move on from any free response question, you cannot go back to it. But on free response questions that have more than one part, you can go back and forth between the parts until you're done working on the entire question. When testing time expires, the app will end the exam and your completed answers will be submitted automatically. During the upload, do not refresh the page or open any other applications. Do not exit the app until you see the congratulations message confirming that we have received your answers. When you see this screen, you are all set. You can check AP students on the College Board site to see when your uh, results will be posted. During the exam, if you have technical problems, the app is designed to provide support. Your AP administrator at your school will not be able to help you during the exam, so here are some helpful solutions to the most likely issues you may encounter on test day. If you accidentally close the exam, or closed your laptop during the break, or if the app crashes, just restart the app and hit resume testing to get back to the question you were on. If you run into an unresolvable technical problem, 
exit and relaunch the app. Hit resume testing to get back to the question you were on. If you encounter a testing dis disturbance, such as an extended power outage, you can request a makeup exam at myap.collegeboard.org. Remember, the testing timer will continue counting down while the app is closed. Digital exams are held synchronously across the world, so it will continue counting even if your app is not working. If your internet connection drops at the end of the test, we'll show you some immediate steps that you'll take to complete your answer submission. Your answers are saved on the testing computer, and you'll have time to reconnect to the internet and get your responses uploaded. Here's what you should do. Once the internet connection is re-established, you should click Try Again, and your answers will resume uploading. When that process is complete, you can see the confirmation screen. Remember, you can always take your computer to school and use the school's Wi-Fi to upload if you're having trouble. If your computer is connected to the internet and the Try Again button is not working, you can click the Return to Home page link. From the home page, you should close the app, reopen it, and try again. If none of these options work within 24 hours after the end of the exam, you should call the customer service number at 1-888-225-5427. If you run into an issue you cannot recover from, you can go to My AP to request another makeup. In early April, AP students will be able to download the app and start practicing. You'll need your College Board username and password to use the exam app, so make sure you have that information handy. The practice exams will roll out for each exam beginning April 8th through April 12th. And if you have testing accommodations, the digital demo and the practice exam will include your accommodation automatically. The College Board and DMPS have a number of resources for understanding digital and paper exam formats. You can find them all at ca.dmschools.org under Advanced Placement Exam Information. If you miss your exam due to an illness or unexpected problems, the school administrator where your exam was ordered can move you to a later exam date. We can also order you a, quote, late exam, which this year means an emergency rush order, but we must meet certain criteria to do so. The College Board set some deadlines that we must follow. April 1 was the deadline for school AP administrators to register all paper format orders. It takes time to package and ship paper exams to the school. If you did not complete the survey to tell us when you wanted to take your exam, we set your exams for the paper test given in the first exam administration window. You can see your scheduled exam dates and formats at the myap.collegeboard.org. You can switch to a later exam from your original choice should it become necessary, but there is a window of opportunity to change your choice based on the format of the new choice. For mathematics and some science exams, to switch from a paper exam in the first administration to a paper exam in the second administration, we must register the change with the College Board by May 14th to ensure shipping. Switching to a later digital exam has more leeway, but it must be done a full seven days before the exam is scheduled in the next test administration. The AP administrator at the school where your exam was ordered manages when you take your exams. They are the ones who can change you to a later exam window as long as we meet the College Board deadlines. There is no cost to you or the school if you cancel your exams this year because of the pandemic. If you want to cancel, please contact the AP Administrator where your exam was ordered. Every year, students can send their scores for free to the university, college, or scholarship program of their choice. Seniors, this is especially important for you. Your score report includes all of your exams from this and previous years. You must tell the College Board where to send your score report by June 20th to get it for free. Go to myap.collegeboard.org under 
My AP Profile, go to the Score Send tab and choose the college, university, or scholarship organization where you'd like your report sent. Remember, your AP scores can only be used to your advantage. Colleges and universities are not permitted to use low AP scores to deny you college admission or financial aid. They can only use your scores if they will help you with admission or to offer you scholarships or other opportunities. There is no downside to taking the test no matter how well you do. Your score is just a snapshot of what you were able to create on one particular day. So, try to relax and enjoy the testing experience by showing off what you've learned so far. We are very proud of you this year. You have done amazing work in a very challenging situation. So good luck on your 2021 AP exams.